Hello everyone, this is Allison Gross and welcome back to Let's Play Savage Empires. Where I am being drunk and endeavoring to not be drunk. No, I mean, I'm not endeavoring to not be drunk, but the idea is that since I was already drunk, I play this game while I am drunk and... So here we are in a lot of bamboo. So if we keep going north from here, we'll get back to the area where I wanted to be in the first place, I think. I have no idea. Okay. Right. Now we use, or not use, drop. Drop the bag. Right here we are at the tar pads. There's bamboo forest, tar pads. So I want to find the cave with the weird artist dude in it. Partly because I want to talk to him. <laughs> and partly because I know that I can basically go west from him to get back to the Yolaru area, I think. I think this is his cave. How convenient. Yes, it is. Hi, dude. Talk to me. Because Fornius asked me what tribe this guy was. Tied. <laughs> I realized I can ask him. Dennis is a member of the Hidden Ureli tribe. So he is an outcast now. Oh, see, because I have, now I have new stuff. Really stay hidden from all the other tribes in the Valley of Eden. Is Denny's visitor asking because he wishes to learn where the really tribe lives? No. Sorry, just made happy to hear it. The whole land, all the world is called the Valley of Eden. Yes. His face becomes a little more guarded. Denny says sorry, but even outcast, he even outcast, he is still of the Ureli. Denny will not say where they really live. Not long ago, when Darden came to power, Darden took and hid the statue of the great Fabos, a spirit sacred to the Ureli. Is where the head came from? Darden told Denny to draw upon the cliffs. A mighty painting, one which would show for bows going with Darden of his own will. Dennis refused and then Dennis had to run for Dennis' life for Darden was not happy. 
Wait, who is Fabos? Great Fabos is a mighty spirit of the land. Okay, well, what kind of animal head does he have? Hi. Well, that was sort of helpful. As soon as I have that axe, I am going to cut down every tree in sight. me. Mm. Hi, you Laru people. Nope. Rafkin just stands on his bed all day. He doesn't actually do anything. Okay, we're gonna go south and we're gonna go along the edge of this even though it doesn't go where we want it to. I have an idea. gonna be really fucking irritating but this game and it's stupid not commerce thing wait maybe this is what I want down here this is a thing I want no it's not all right so we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of uh, save scumming here Okay, that's the road. Yes. By all means, let us restore the game. We will find the lab if it is the last thing we do. So, guess what we're gonna do now, guys? Okay, that's a, a road here. There's a thing on the road. 
So just as an experiment, we're going to go that way. Okay, here we are. Oh, it's a person. This is like other Yularu area. I haven't been in these houses. Do you guys have any shield? No. I don't even know if I would recognize the lab if I saw it. Wait, this means I'm on the, the Karak area, aren't I? Well, I'm going to go back to the Karak village and start my... <laughs> you want to attack Dorky? I want the lab, I want that axe. I guess I have to go around the other way. Hmm. Can I not get down that way? Do I have to go this way? I'm gonna find the way that I get over there. of the Karak village now. Yes, let's save the game. Now. Uh, Triolo. Alright, so these are like all trees or something, I assume. This is a forest, like, I guess of bushes that seems kind of impossible. It doesn't seem to be. Alright, so there's a tar pit here. Triolo. There's no sign of a tar pit on here. 
buildings, however, do show up. So it stands to reason that the lab would show up on here. I feel like a fucking cryptozoologist looking at weird scans and trying to deduce things from them. Okay, what is this thing right to the northeast of us? Oh, it's this. this area where I can't go that's like forest area looks identical to the grasslands where I can easily walk around. Okay. I'm gonna stop right by this thing of water. You know, Dorky, can you not stand? Okay. Hey, Triolo. You do your thing. Alright, so there is a river right to the west of us. And I forgot to check out what this pool of water did or did not look like on my map. <clears throat> but he said south east of the Karak village. So... I feel like maybe going west isn't the answer. Alright, now I am gonna drop this shield right here. Just for the hell of it. Alright men, we've set out our camera traps and now we're gonna check to see if we picked up anything on the scanner. Part of this investigation late at night we're wondering about pouch. No, just open the pouch. We're gonna use some, uh... Okay, so we're on this island. I guess this is technically not a... Is that a cliff area? I wanna go look at the north area there and see what it does. Hey, come back here, kitty. Yes. I think we can do this in the dark. Oh, nope, nope. It goes down. And then goes up. Okay. Man, I wish I had a sextant. Well, this is just forcing us further and further west.
Oh, and we're out of time. So until next time, everyone. Bye.